Yes, you're welcome back to the blog on Cool TV. And of course, we still have a digital with us. I hope I got that right. Yes, you did. See, you even better than me. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah. I did draw. Is the question Igbo? Igbo say, Igbo say, <laughs> oh my God. What is the name of ah. our guest? Where, where are you from? On this day. Uh. Oh, my brother. You're back. Uh. He's here, Ruba. <laughs> <laughs> our second how to article was written what? by our guest right here. And this one is called How to Get a Boyfriend. Mm. Mm. Resume, please give me a second. Let me get a note and a pen because I definitely need this one. Oh. Lego socialites. Ah, yeah, I socialize. <laughs> Keep on. <laughs> Danger. <Keep> on. <laughs> uh, he's also a psychologist, a business executive, and fashion junkie. Oh, we see, see. fashion oh, junkie. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. Uh, well, he has been dishing out some advice to help ladies understand ways to get what they want, including a boyfriend. Mm. Now, we have his 10 point tips, um, which have become very popular, and we thought to share about five of our favorites with you, you know. And since we have the man here, we're going to hear some of his personal opinions on all this, too. Even though he's single. And you're going to answer our questions, too. Yes, I will. OK, cool. Now, all the single ladies, put your hands up. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you're about to not make putting a your hands up, but yeah. I'm like confused. That. But what do you mean? How do you mean single? In what context? No, you're single until you're, you're single married. Like, I'm married. with you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we are not a single entity. <laughs> oh, you think she's deceiving the men? No, All the single them. ladies, you're about to make a swift transit and possibly change status if you adhere to the following tips. Hmm. Tip number one, remove guys from the friend zone. Hey. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. dum Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, um, a lot of ladies have so many guys around them, so many guys with potential, <clears throat> but... They don't see it. No, oh, seven men shall come and win. <laughs> <laughs> we are seeing them. <laughs> now, true. this is what you said on your article, right? You was like, you said some single ladies today see having a lot of guys on their friend zone list as an achievement <laughs> or an award. Uh, they enjoy the fact that guys keep trying to get their attention or approval while they call him things like bro, cuz, g, buddy, as a means to discourage him from trying to talk to them. Kel. Ha! You're so guilty. Very guilty. <laughs> so, yes. How many Gs do you have? Yeah. No, but my it's like G. my actual Gs. How many Gs do you have? My G, my person. Exactly. How many, well, how many do you have? No, but I have actual Gs. Yeah, that but I'm not you have a boyfriend. Zoning. Do you have a boyfriend? Are those Gs single? Some, Some of them, them are. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. But I, I, but do I don't agree. want to date them. And I, say, exactly. I actually say G to discourage some guys, especially when the attraction is not just there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when the attraction is not there. You know, when you're telling me, hey, hon, I'm like, stop, G. <laughs> but that's better, that's better than saying brother, right? Yeah. It's better than saying you're my brother. That's even the worst, that's right? That's the worst. Zone. But friend zoning is. And what do you think about? Have you, have you ever been friend zoned before? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Very <laughs> you say yeah. Like, have, have you ever gotten out of the friend zone before? Yeah. Oh, tell us, how did you do it? And tell some men. Well, you there. see, the girl made a mistake because he's not with the girl now. He's single. <laughs> <laughs> she have been at the friend zone. <laughs> like, do you want to share that experience or you'd rather keep what, it private? Oh, yeah, like it's kind of painful when, you know, you like a lady and she's not giving you what you want back. But are you, were you being direct <clears throat> with her or you two were forming coding? No, like I'm a direct person. I like you. Let's date. Let's do this. So what was she saying? You're my brother. You're know, like my brother. I see you like my brother. <laughs> even some girls even say cousin zone. It's just me. Ah, <laughs> wow, <laughs> cousin zone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, one of our uh, our number two uh, favorite tip on how to get a boyfriend. Smile often, look approachable. That one is so annoying. When you just see girls out and they're like, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> the world is so good. You <laughs> <laughs> so happy. No. <laughs> Why can't you be happy? No, but like, you have to look approachable. Exactly. Like some yeah. ladies just have like a strong face. Oh, you, you can look approachable just without scared, just gonna talk smiling. To you can I just appreciate, look, yeah, you know, appreciate, regular. You I appreciate like the guy that will look at the strong face and come. Uh -uh. <laughs> you just have <laughs> courage. <laughs> <and> strong. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, man. no, no. You keep it. I mean, you're, you're not going to. You're in a bad mood. You're going through something. You're like, you're sad or something. Or you're like just that, playing so. nasty. No, yeah. no. Exactly. But what if you're, you're, you're just, what yes, if you're just keeping you a straight yeah, face exactly. now? Yeah, like, exactly. I don't, I don't, so you just sit down. Why not say shine your teeth? No, but if, at least. If you mm. have a boyfriend, you're allowed to frown. 
Wait, if you are single, you should no, be smiling. No, Gloria, there are guys that are smooth. There are guys that when you're frowning, they'll be like, so what, you lost your money today? And they'll start the conversation. But most Nigerian guys are not that witty or quick. They'll just I'm come and like sit down like, oh, they're from far. I will not be like, like say, ah, toast me. Sometimes I have this unapproachable look when I've already peeped you and I, I know where you're going and I just kind of, and then you still want to, it's not but very I do, nice. The reason mm -hmm. I'm defending is because I, def I actually agree with this absolutely because there's some women who would never be approached because they're not nasty inside but they look scares men and we don't <laughs> want to agree or accept the fact that have a men get who has scared never been approached before like, yeah. what really yeah, like, she, like she has only been hooked up is with, she pretty she is but she doesn't are you sure she's pretty she is but she doesn't have been, like <laughs> how do you like, never have been approached I before mean, even by has, a random guy on the street she, no she has never ah. wow only how old is she 12 <laughs> 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 she always frowning her she's face 25 she just go. has a strong face and she doesn't smile. <laughs> but you know the truth, the one that will approach her I will beg be her you, husband. that's what people say. People are single at 45 <laughs> said when they were younger. Don't even remind that, please. So basically, uh, Adejara says, ladies, if your face is strong and your heart is soft, <laughs> make an effort to smile more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's go to number three. Mm. Go out less with your friends. What? Yeah, you know, I actually agree, especially with guys. I used to go out with guys a lot. Guys are my G's. And I've decided <laughs> to stop it because my friend actually spoke to me. Because I'll go out with this, my G's, and I'll be seeing some G's that I actually like. And I can't approach the G's because my G's are around me. Yeah, well, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, also, yeah. and even if it's female friends, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Ayu had invited us to a mixer a while ago, in case you mm. missed it. <laughs> And all of us came out bayless, including herself. <laughs> they, were, they were either skinny or hard boots. <laughs> and the one potential G that held my hand, I your drug me to one skinny G. <laughs> I would never leave this down. <laughs> okay, I want to point out something you said in your write-up. Uh, you said, okay, obviously this doesn't mean you should be a recluse, but there are some times when you should just, uh, when you should just be that pretty or stunning yeah. lady at the mall or movies. Yeah, yeah. And then you went on to say, studies have shown that men feel more comfortable approaching a lady who is alone than with a group of ladies. Yeah, because you know men have a big ego. Like, mm. they, like if they go and meet a lady and she says no, they won't be able to sleep that night. It's just ah. puncture them. In front, of women. in front of In front of women, like, or like but, in front of their friends. You are aware of how single ladies that go out alone are looked upon in I Nigeria? I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Like, uh, but you two, what, what kind of game are you having that you just approach? Like, be tactful with it, yeah. strategize. You, you know, don't know, just, like the yeah. video, when Chris Daniel approached the three girls, I was like, that's not really real. <laughs> like, a lot of guys don't have, like, the mind for that. Unless you're like, doing. I don't know, Peter Okoye or, or, or two, who, who's so hard? Not Lynx or somebody? Or Two-Face. Because but the guy will go there and give all of them belly. <laughs> <laughs> You know that you two, you know you try. <laughs> no, but no. To be fair, to be fair, I think it's very difficult. Sometimes we forget that men are human, humans, human. One of the yeah, both, human. yeah, yeah, one of them. But so we think they're super. So they should do this and do that and come into your midst. It's difficult. Yes. Even we as human beings, can you see a group of men and just walk you know, into their midst and even ask for a pencil? You know, like some of my friends. Like, you know, like I went to a bar today and I saw like four girls, but men, like liver, my man. <laughs> Like, my liver wasn't enough like, to go and talk I to I mean, because look at you, uh, when you came on our set, you were, like, all intimidated ladies. and stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. And I've seen your pictures on, on social media. You don't look anything like an intimidated or someone that can be intimidated. You look very, very um, confident. confident. So it shows that no matter how confident you are, when you're with four gorgeous, you know, yes. stunning, yes. absolutely mm. brilliant, mm. wonderful <laughs> women. Mm. You know, it's go on, don't you? Style. Style. <laughs> you? That's the deepest thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Number four tip on how to get a boyfriend, be active on social media. Hmm. Ah. Well, like mm. a, I kill good nurse. I want to take Fiance. a poll with this. Like, how many oh. of you agree with that? I agree. I no, agree. Because I, I met some people no. through okay. social media. Social media guys are cheesy. And by the way, there are a lot of murderers on social media. So, <laughs> oh, not in Nigeria. And guys, and witches and wizards. To get some. Yes, let me tell so you many something. Of them, okay, yeah. let me ask you something, right? Remember, social media involves like your BB, WhatsApp, that's all social media. When you like a guy, don't you change your picture more frequently on your oh, do that. Exactly. So he can see that. Exactly. Nah, this baby is hot. Exactly. <laughs> I do I it. Do it. Yeah. I do it very no, well. Uh, no, no, like you said that, you know, like it's full of weird people, but if you like a guy, like do a research on him. Mm -hmm. Look for mutual friends. Don't just jump in. You like this guy, look for mutual friends, ask them about him. Is he a good guy? And 
sorry, what if they really, they are really close to him and then all of a sudden none of them are telling? Because some people, I mean, this girl, like, you now be looking like Miss ah. Crazy. You know who's close to you hmm. and like who will tell That's you the what truth. You think. You know, like it's not like you just meet a girl and you just jump in. You meet a guy and you just jump. Mm. Like you do like a little research. I had a very but I've close actually friend. met some pretty cool people on social media, though. Yeah. You know, but like some girls don't even post pictures at yeah. all. On BlackBerry, they're just dead. You know, like you don't appreciate them. They Did don't you say post they're pictures. dead? I know a lot of people that have died. Wow. Dead on social media, not dead in real life. <laughs> no, but I, I totally accept. I have a friend as well. I know when she likes a guy. Because almost every hour, the pictures are changing on, on her BB. <laughs> and once I feel like, oh, look at me. Oh, I'm like, ah, this girl, there's a guy. I'm actually dead on the BBM. You won't like, die. I don't Jesus. even put up pictures. I mean, like, social media. I don't put up. I have one picture for, like, six months. I don't change them, even if I like a guy. Because I just feel like he would know I'm changing the picture for him. A conversation but, could start from, oh, like, Arsenal won today. And you'd be like, oh, you like Arsenal? I'm, mm. Like, I'm an Arsenal fan. Okay, let's, you know. No, seven men will come after me and I'll choose one. I'm, not in, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. I think there are a lot of witches, wizards, all kinds of things oh, on social media. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you know? Why are you attracting such people? It, that BB world is a very big world. I'm I think social media is pretty cool. I actually met one of my boyfriends through uh, social media. How long did it last? Exactly. So that's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> the point is, he's a really, really cool person. And I saw him post something. I'm like, hmm, this guy. I like this guy. Hmm, let me just see. Let's start a conversation. He posted that he was reading a book. I'm like, oh, what book is that? I like books too. Mail yeah, me. And then he mailed then, me. And then we started. When guys put up a picture of them reading a book, trust me, they are not big readers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and chicks wanna, that act like they're so pretty. I want to ask you something. Like, what's your take on, like, I wrote on that school once on, like, it's okay for a lady to approach a guy if she likes a guy. I think it's okay. I'll start doing it, actually. It's no matter of it's OK. I'm, I'm, I'm I've been doing this. The okay. funny thing is, the guys that I approach, they're actually like, oh, that's actually pretty they, they cool. Don't it's approach not okay. them to date them, but approach them to just to socialize. Yeah, it's not I agree. Okay. Why? Can, yeah, it's just not OK. You're a girl. Seven men shall come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, man, when these men are not coming, you go and chase them. You know, you know them. just going back to social media thing, because it's important for people to understand that sometimes it's um, people can tell your personality from the way you post on social media. So it can be seen as fun, you know, you, you know like, Kel, for instance, True. someone would want to be with Kel because every day you go on her social media page on Instagram and you're laughing. I you're like, okay, I want to get wow. to know this girl better. It's true. If I were a guy, Kel, I would you date engaged? you. But for guys, please, don't post so much on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Huge Especially selfies. <laughs> or will your date 10 okay, pictures so of yourself in a day, please? Let's no. move to um, our last uh, favorite tip from Adejaro's um, How to Get a Boyfriend write-up. Hmm, this one is very important. Pray. <laughs> yeah, so. No, I don't believe I can see They say I pray for Abraham. The Rachel pray for Isaac. I don't believe in that. Just because God said it's not good for man to be alone, and he sends man a woman. So that's the way he will send you to your But you said you would chase a man, though, so hello. No, I said I'll approach them to socialize. Then oh, from there, you find you. you manipulate your way in. <laughs> this is the most important factor when searching for a boyfriend. Mm. Prayer does things that science cannot explain. Yeah. Preach, preacher. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's all we're going to share today. <laughs> Remember, there are five more tips. Uh, so you could go check them all out if you want to. Uh, like Dr. Muffin said, uh, this is your Dr. Muffin, and you're going to explain it in a minute. Uh -huh. Having a boyfriend doesn't make you complete, and being single doesn't make you incomplete. Above all, do what makes you happy and what is beneficial to you. Stay true to yourself and have reasonable standards, OK? Now, let us know what you think, though. Hit us up on social media. Uh, but before then, we had you know, some people come through, and we asked them, how did you get a boyfriend? And this is what they had to say. How can I get a boyfriend? Personally, for me, I don't think I go out looking for boyfriends. They come. I get my boyfriend's cool. We, got in, we met in school, we just met in school, in the school environment. So, and uh, he approached me like he wants to have a date with me, and from there, we hang around and we get started. Ah, pray about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's an amazing question. You pray to God to give a boyfriend, and then that's all. It depends on the kind of person you are, and the way you think about the other person, as in, if you see someone you, you like, definitely you will know, yeah, this is what I like about this person and this is what I don't like about the, this person. Can I actually go into a relationship with this person or not? You would know. A guy is supposed to ask you out and you're supposed to decide if you're going to say yes to him or not. 
then that's how I'm supposed, I think, you get a boyfriend. If anybody that approached me and I like the person, and if we are in common, there's nothing bad about it. <laughs> Just um, see somebody you like, then, you know, start up a chat with the person. I mean, I mean the discussions, I mean, you can take it to the next level, you know? <laughs> yes. Um, first of all, um, depending on the, the kind of person you are, uh, uh, at least one has to pray to get a good husband, probably a friend you know, you've been with for quite some time, and you know the person so well. Uh, you can start from that point, and before you know, you get to know each other very well, and from there, you move on with um, a serious relationship.